so neat. Another place that's really, you know, there, it's nice when you have a, a place that's a shopping experience and at the same time it's just a gorgeous place to be. Kevin E. Counts of Earthworks is here with us yes. again. Hey, Kev, guys. we are going to do a project together, but first for everybody watching, what happens at Earthworks? Oh my gosh, everything. We have koi fish, we have plants that you can come and buy. It's just a real scenic place to shop around. Even if you want to go there to take photography or anything like that, we have tons of koi ponds all around the place. If you want to go for a stroll, it's a really good place to shop in. It's a really cool experience. Anytime there's together. like a home and patio show, Earthworks yeah. is always the spot where everyone does all their Instagramming. Yep. And that's just a small yep. little sampling of, yeah. yes. of what you do. And you're hands on with all the times yeah. you exhibit there, and people love yeah. that. Yeah, we have very knowledgeable staff that can come out and help you with anything that you need out there. So, so what are we looking at here? These are just clippings of succulents? Yeah, so today we are going to be creating or semi creating this little masterpiece here, which is a piece of driftwood and cuttings of succulents mixed in with air plants. So if you have a spot in your house that's by a window or even like a blank table and you want to make something beautiful on it, if you're real earthy, this can be a great piece for that. So yeah, so on this tray, I literally, we had a whole bunch of plants that were, weren't looking so good. So I went in and did a whole bunch of clippings of the tops of the heads of them. And I just was like, well, what can I do to recreate something beautiful out of these old plants? So basically what I did was um, I took, I found my driftwood I got some stagnant moss that you can see here, and you literally just put it in all the little crevices. So I'll let you, if you want sure. to, grab just a piece of that. In. Yeah, you could just fill in this little guy down here, just a little bit. Yeah. And and just yeah, while we're, while Mark is doing that, yeah. when you say you found the driftwood, you found it in earthworks because I found you can't. It at earthworks. Not. Yeah, you can't. If you go to a beach or anything like that, you can't just simply pick it up off the beach. You will have to buy it from a garden center, our place, Earthworks, or you can go to another local place that sells it. So because it's protected. It is protected. Now I have a yeah. question. So yeah. you trim these, okay, yes. to put in there. How long will this stay alive? Um, I like to kind of let it sit for a month. Um, if you, even if you're not ready to put it in that certain spot, um, I like to kind of let it sit outside for a month to recreate those roots and kind of get um, stuck in place. So, okay. yeah, yeah, but the succulents are super easy. So you literally, yeah. what we're going to do with the stagnant moss is kind of spritz it just to kind of get it wet. And it'll get the roots and everything going on the succulents. And you literally just stick it in place. We'll stick it right here. Okay, wow. and then it'll kind of like cling on. Yeah. It'll, it'll grow into that. It'll cling on. So you don't want to move it because if you move it, it's all going to fall, sure. fall off. I had, you know, this one is newly planted, so we had issues with that one. But you definitely want to keep it in a spot for a little bit. And then I'll let you pick out an air plant. You know what? I, I like how this actually has some color in yeah, it, too. I feel like a lot of times, right yeah, when you have a little table, you want something. Yeah. yeah. That goes so, where there's no soil, right? Yeah, that you can you could stick it on top of the soil, but it doesn't necessarily need it. You could probably put him right up right in there, there just to kind of create that. I like my stuff really full and that mm -hmm. instant gratification. Yeah. So you literally just stick it wherever, wherever there's space for it. And then once you're done, I kind of like to go in with my green moss, which is purely decorative moss. This is not living or anything like that. And I'll let you do it. And you literally just kind of stick it and put it around it just for decorative kind of reasons. Again, yeah. we're just adding some more color to yeah, it. Yeah, just adding more color. Like and then as far as care? Yeah, so these are easy. Um, succulents are kind of drought tolerant plants and so are air plants. I have, again, my spray bottle. I would just go in and spritz it every now and then. Um, if you do just succulents, you can get a small water bottle or something like that and pour it. Yeah. But um, since I'm mixing in air plants, we don't want to drown the air plants and drown the succulents. Um, I just go in with my spritz some bottle. There, just to yeah. some more color. Look how beautiful yeah. that is. And you can already see even just the two little pieces. Yeah. It kind of makes it come together. But And um, it brings out the lighter color in the wood exactly. and everything like that too, the contrast. Exactly. That is a really great idea. Yeah, and you can fill this whole thing and it, it, it's just really pretty and simple. It's, it's a, a great project, yeah. and yeah. it's it's something that you can certainly do with the kids, too, yeah. and it's a great centerpiece. And, Kev, we really appreciate you being here. EarthworksJacks.com for more information. Maybe take a trip over to Earthworks, get yes. some uh, good photos for the gram, yes. and then also <laughs> pick up some succulents and some driftwood. Yes. We're going to send it over now to Rams. Thank you.